everybody, Ronald Ray here, your boy with a cornbread accent. Welcome you to another episode of Wrestling Trivia Tuesday, episode 51. Can you believe it? Anyway, uh, for those of you who've been watching, I appreciate you tremendously. And for those of you who are watching for the first time, what I do every Tuesday, I ask three questions, all dealing with the sport of professional wrestling. Before I get started, uh, I ask you new folks to go ahead leave a like uh, also make a comment what did you think about today's questions and how well did you did also be a champ and hit that subscribe button without further ado let's let it rip all right like I said these questions might be a little easy first question has to deal with mommy herself real Ripley question is number one question number one is uh, what is the home country of Rhea Ripley. Is it A, New Zealand, B, Australia, or C, Netherlands? All right, question number one again. What is the home country of Rhea Ripley? Is it A, New Zealand, B, Australia, or C, the Netherlands? The answer is B, Australia. Yes, uh, her home country is Australia. I do believe that's where her fiance is from too, Buddy Murphy. Uh, also, hey, Paul Hogan, uh, Bill Gibson, he's from Australia. Uh, her is a pretty country. I would definitely like to visit there some sometime. Um, let's see, what else? That's about it. That's all I got to say about Australia and Rhea Ripley. Except for, hey, it's a cute picture of her. I don't think I was supposed to say she should be. Uh, just, just not to seem like a cute picture. Next. All right. Question number two has to do with Sting. Uh, Sting recently announced that come 2024, uh, Revolution Pay Per View, the big Zack, that will be his last match. That is it. He's done. He's retiring. He's moving to... I don't know if he's moving to Hawaii. I just felt like saying that. Anyway, question number two. Who trained Sting? Was it Jerry Jarrett? B, Rick Bassman? Or C, Eddie Gilbert? Alright, question number two again. Who trained Sting? Was it A, Jerry Jarrett, B, Rick Bassman, or C, Eddie Gilbert? The answer is B, Rick Bassman. Uh, yes, he's uh, credited one to train him, break him into business. Uh, him, the Ultimate Warrior, and a few other people too. I don't have a huge recollect of Rick Bassman's career or careers as wrestler or trainer. Uh, anyway, a uh, question for my viewers that this popped in my hand, head, and this popped in my head, excuse me, um, would you like for me on a episode of uh, Classic Wrestling Reminiscing for me to reminisce about the career of Sting? If you're interested, let me know in the comments and I can get it done because you asked. Do anything for my fans. <laughs> Next. All right, here we go. Main event question number three. And let's see, back in, I believe it was 1984, the fabulous ones, Stan Lane and Steve Kahn, left the Memphis territory, and I believe this went to work for Vern directly. Uh, even though that, you know, Memphis was a, I believe this time was a territory of the AWA. I think they've already pulled out the NWA. Anyway, with that in mind, who did Memphis call the new fabulous ones in an attempt to replace Stan Lane and Steve Kern? Was it A, Terry Taylor and Bobby Fulton, B, Tommy Rogers and Bobby Fulton, or C, Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert? Question number three again. 
Uh, who did Memphis call the new fabulous ones in an attempt to replace Stan Lane and Steve Kern? Was it A, Terry Taylor and Bobby Fulton, B, Tommy Rogers and Bobby Fulton, or C, Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert? The answer is C, Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert. Uh, yeah, this, basically they had left the territory and went to work for Vern, you know, you know, this Memphis was the uh, a territory of the AWA at the time. Uh, but yeah, they decided to try their hand up there. Uh, of course, Memphis was kind of, they kind of buried them a little bit, but try to kind of keep making money off of the fabulous one's name. And they decided to put Tommy Rich and Gilbert. Uh, didn't quite work, of course. Tommy Rich, uh, uh, yes, I, I mean, he was a big star in Georgia Championship Wrestling. Uh, kind of fresh off that, I think Vince had done bought them out at the time. I have to look back at my dates. But anyway, um, but yeah, so Tommy Rich went back home. He went back home to Memphis, and he, just say, cosmetically didn't fit the part. Eddie Gilbert, kind of fresh off the WWF at the time. Uh, he did uh, work up there, uh, down a car accident, broke his neck. Uh, but he was a lower mid car guy. He would get you know, a few little wins on TV, but we'll lose to bigger stars. Uh, and of course, you can tell by this picture, he ain't quite filled out yet. Um, but anyway, uh, so interesting little note here. According to the RF Video Midnight Express cheer review, the Midnight Express version being Stan Lane and Bobby Eaton. Uh, he, Stan Lane was talking about how the Fabulous Ones was formed. And according to him, the original idea was having him team with Terry Taylor. I'm not sure how that would have worked. Uh, Terry Taylor, I mean, look at that picture right there. Uh, fresh white meat baby face. Definitely more of a Rock and Roll Express type, um, probably feel to it. Uh, the fabulous ones, of course, were more geared towards grown women, and uh, the Rock and Roll Express was, you know, pretty much geared towards. Uh, let's just be PC, politically correct, 21 and below, maybe 18, 18 to 21. There we go. That sounds a lot better. Hey, I don't know. Her story. Uh, anyway, uh, but I don't know if that was by design. I think it just kind of worked out that way. Uh, the way to, you know, the, the fabulous ones target female audience. Uh, another interesting n note uh, you see right here, Terry Taylor is with Bobby Fulton right here, and they had like a short little territory in Chattanooga uh, that being a Georgia it was like Georgia Wrestling All-Stars or something like that it was done in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee I forgot what it was called uh, I'm, I'm going to beat myself over that if you know what it was called let me know in the comments uh, just slip my mind right now but anyway uh, Bobby Bolt and Terry Taylor were called the Fantastic Ones at the time Dressed just like Bobby and, or Stan Lane and Steve Kern. Um, and that character was short lived. Of course, later on, I think it was Mid South when Tommy Rogers and Bobby Fulton was first formed together to be called the Fantastics. The Fantastics is not the one's part, but you can kind of see they were kind of mimicking uh, Stan and Steve at the time. Uh, or just not. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's a little quick little history about how all those things kind of entwine. Uh, anyway, that does it for me this week. Hope you folks enjoyed. I appreciate you guys watching and gals. Uh, definitely, uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And you folks have a good one. Take it easy. Thank you for checking out my video. I really do appreciate it. And of course, this is the part where I ask you, if you're not a subscriber yet, to click on that subscribe button, leave a like, also share with friends. 
And if you want to follow me on social media, on Twitter, X, it's at RRPATRPTV46. On Facebook, it's just Ronald Ray. And yes, I need to turn in my man card because I do have a TikTok. Uh, my, you can find me on TikTok at RP2Vision. As always, you have a good one. Take it easy.